Always absolutely wonderful to have the opportunity to share a good cup of coffee and the good word with y'all. Mm. This is the new coffee I've started drinking. Kicking Horse. There are three sisters. It's, I don't know when it's being ground, it's got just such a, a cigar smell to it. It's just a wonderful, wonderful aroma. It's got a good taste too. It's a medium roast, but it's a really, really good coffee. Um, I'll give you a hint. I'll put the Amazon link to order, but when you order it, buy the small bags, not the big bags. It doesn't make any sense, but the smaller bags are actually cheaper per pound. There you go. A little bit of insight there. Huh? <laughs> now I want to get into the good word this morning. Our good word this morning is found in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek, the Greek, the Gentiles. That's us. Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. I, I have to ask you, are you ashamed of the gospel? It's just, a, it's, a, it's an honest question. Are you ashamed of the gospel? And I look in the mirror and ask myself the same thing. Are you ashamed of the gospel? Why are you not so quick to be able to show it off? You get a new girlfriend, you're going to show everybody what you got. You get a new vehicle, you're going to show them what you got. You're going to be proud of what you have. You're going to want everyone to know. You find a new restaurant, you're sure you're going to let somebody know about it. Why don't we do the same thing with the gospel? We have found the greatest thing we could ever have access to. Why are we not sharing it with others? Are you ashamed of the gospel? Paul says, I am not ashamed of the gospel. And I know Paul's not ashamed of the gospel because I see him preaching it to everyone, everywhere throughout the scriptures. He's not afraid. He's not, a, he's not afraid because he's not ashamed. There is no fear in Christ Jesus. There is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. He's the only one, ultimately, that has the ability to be able to judge us. I'm not ashamed. I'm not afraid. My friends, the times are coming. We're opening the second seal in Revelation this Sunday in Scripture. The times are coming when <laughs> you're going to have to stand up for what you believe in. Do you truly believe in it? How about that? Do you truly believe? Or are you ashamed? Church, we have got to be able to put the gospel out to everyone. The gospel is there for the salvation of all. It's the salvation of everyone. Paul told us that, starting first with the Jew and then the Gentile. Greek. They told us in the Great Commission, we've got to go out and spread the word. We've got to be able to be able, we've got to be able to spread the word, spread the gospel to everyone that's in need. And you know who's in need of the gospel? Everyone you meet. There is no shortage of those who need to hear the gospel. I want you to try and dwell on that today. Romans chapter 1 verse 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. Tell someone today the good news. The good news about Christ Jesus. I promise you're going to meet someone today that needs to hear it. Share it with them. Let me pray for you. Father God, give us all the boldness, the courage to be able to share the gospel. Lord God, let us, let us be free to be able to tell others what has set us free. Let us share with them, Lord God, the joy that we find in you. Lord God, give us that extra level of boldness and invite them to come to church with us and begin to disciple them, Lord God, as we lead them into your presence. I ask all these things in Jesus' name, amen. Look. Go find a good friend. Go find some good coffee. Share with them the good word. How about this? Just find some good coffee and share the good word and make a new friend. Make a new good friend. How about that? Look, I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Don't forget God loves you. I love you too. And I am praying for you. See you soon.